Hey guys, how's it going? I trust that everyone is doing well and good. The audio for today is profound. Many disclosures are presented. Some believe it is difficult to comprehend, which is why I mentioned in my earlier messages to research your attention span on Google. My new TikTok channel is coming and I'm ecstatic. Please live with awareness, wishing you an awesome day. Enjoy and chill. Um, first of all, thank you for everything that you do for all of us. I have been listening for a while, and I am what you like to refer to as a strong wanter. A very, very strong wanter. Usually people who tell us that they are strong wanters are those who have beliefs that oppose desire. And so you are able to measure your desire by the struggle. Is that the kind of wanter you are? It's not what I try to aspire to, but sometimes. Um, I am hoping you can give me a little bit of fine tuning with the difference between when I have a desire that still needs some work on resistance and when I'm... Every desire needs work on resistance. The problem is the work on resistance just makes the resistance more. So rather than work on resistance, what you wanting to work on is more allowance, which is finding ways to feel better about the desire. What we're wanting Esther to understand means don't be so practical so soon. So let's talk about something real and we'll show you what we would do. For me right now, I'm, I'm looking for some passion. You want to know what you want? Y yeah. <laughs> You want something to ring your bells? Yes. The other day, Esther was visiting with some friends and they went on a day journey, just a few hours up into the Rocky Mountains. So Esther set herself up for that feeling that you're in that she's prepaved in that she imagined a nice day and it was, and she imagined lots of fun and laughter with her friends. And there was that when that moment of ecstasy came it was just momentum there had been no subterfuge to the momentum which just meant i like this 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 and soon there is a crescendo that just takes your breath away and you feel like the most blessed and the most loved but most people don't do that most people say i like this not that so much i like this not that so much i like this oh, i could do without that and so the momentum doesn't build to that place of ringing your bells in that way does that make sense to you now that's just an example of a few hours in a car together but your whole life is that way. This is good, this isn't. This is good, this isn't. This is good, this isn't. The subject here is the subject of momentum. Esther translates into some of her old fashioned vocabulary that many of you may not even be able to relate to. It's like priming the pump. Priming the pump. Did you ever prime a pump? Sometimes you have to suck on a hose to get it going and then once it gets going then so priming the pump or our newest words are get out ahead of it a segment intend look for positive aspects you cannot be practical because your practicality will kill the momentum that objectivity that practicality is I really want more money but I don't have enough right now I really want more money but my family never had enough money I really want more money but my job just doesn't pay enough I really want more money but so there's not an allowance of the laws of the universe to help you out so it takes some decision you said I'm a powerful wanter and we like determination but we want 
your determination to be focused upon the determination to find the best feeling thoughts and if you find yourself working too hard at it then it's not really a good exercise so the easiest thing to get momentum going is to find something that it's easy to get momentum going about now we're going to give you something here that's going to help you enormously this will make sense to all of you it's our favorite new way of explaining this thank you for your question every subject is two subjects like the end of the stick that has what you want on it and the end of the stick that has the absence of what you want on it I want more money is one end of the stick I don't have enough money is the other end so let's say that that's not the only stick in the pile there's the money stick there's the relationship stick there's the way I earn my money stick there's the friendship stick there's the lover stick there's the where I live stick there's all this bundle of sticks and let's say that you've decided that you're going to identify and isolate feeling good on the money stick so you think about it but the other end of the stick you've practiced it more so every time you try to think about or daydream about more money you just become more practical and realize that you don't have enough so you try but it's a struggle and you never really get there and then you feel like you're not good at this but what if in that pile of sticks there was a really good feeling stick maybe it's your dog your little dog Ooh, that cute little dog that cute little dog that licks your face that cute little dog that you have never had anything but a blissful thought about you just can't bring yourself to do anything but love that dog do you have one of those dogs do you know one of those dogs so you're thinking about that little dog now that little dog may not be with you here today hopefully <laughs> sometimes you bring them that little dog as you're thinking about that little dog you're thinking about that little dog and it's so easy to be on that end of the stick and so you think about the little dog you think about cute little dog that dog that waits for you and loves you and uh, is so unconditional in that love and so really adorable think about the pictures of that dog that dog that is so easy for you to love so that's the stick that you're focused upon and the other end of the stick just is not activated at all by activating that end of that stick you now have access to that end of all of those sticks now you might jump to the money stick in which case you'll go to the other end but it takes a minute and meanwhile you did good work on all the end of all those sticks if you just understand that it's a vibrational thing that you're doing here you're tuning yourself to this end of the stick which is to say you're tuning yourself to positive expectation which is to say you're tuning yourself to the way your inner being looks at all your sticks which means you're tuning yourself to pure positive energy which means you're tuning yourself to being in the receiving mode which means you're tuning yourself to being in the vortex which means you're tuning yourself to being a vibrational match to what's in your vortex you see what we're getting at so don't be practical take the path of least resistance what is the easiest stick to feel good about whatever it is and before you know it you'll feel good about just about all the sticks and if you're like most humans you'll still focus upon the problem stick you don't need to so it works the other way too maybe you've got this pile of sticks and you're feeling pretty good about them you like your house you like your mate you like your job you're doing really good you just don't like that one neighbor <laughs> well you know you could focus upon the neighbor or the barking dog that lives with the neighbor <laughs> you could focus there and before you know it you've activated the other end of all of your sticks because that's the way tuning is you see so what was your original question to us try to restate it as closely as you can to what you said I was looking for some fine-tuning on when things need some more gestation they're in the vortex well, no, no, that's not what you said <laughs> where were you oh did it go away <laughs> now it's irrelevant you can't even find it can't even find it because you were on the other end of the stick and now your question has moved on and that's good so now what do you want to talk about <laughs> <laughs> you want something that rings your bells and the thing that we really want you to hear is that when you let something just be pleasant it's not really a big bell ringer but it's not a downer either 
and so when you find something that's pleasant something else will follow it and something else 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 you see that passion that you're looking for you're really gonna like this so here's this vortex full of ingredients they're all in cooperation with one another and now you found a stick in your pile that you focused upon that had no resistance in it and so now you have access to a whole bunch of stuff in your vibrational reality you have access to things in your vibrational reality that in your normal practical life you don't have access to and so if it's enough for you to just feel that calm pleasure of non-resistance then what happens is you'll begin to receive something more from this and at first it won't be really bell ringing but it will be pleasant and if it's pleasant that's enough in other words let's just say that something that isn't negative something that doesn't feel bad is enough because if you can find something that's just neutral and that doesn't feel bad that's the beginning of positive momentum because you're not doing that thing that you usually do that takes it in the other direction so now something else will come and something else will come and something else will come but you got to be patient the other day we were speaking with a very nice person who was wanting more movement in her work and she used the word vehicle in her question to us and so we said imagine that you're in a vehicle and you're moving along and everything's satisfying nothing to write home about it's not ringing your bells not even but doesn't suck it's okay feels pretty good so you're just moving along and in that absence of resistance thoughts not ringing your bells but it's not resistant either following us she looks over oh there's another vehicle extra pretty she just moves over there just goes down the road a little bit doesn't ring her bells nothing to write home about doesn't suck she looks over and there's another vehicle faster brighter shinier she just slip right into it because it's right there and off you go and then off you go and then off you go and then off you go and pretty soon those bells are ringing you see how it is the breakthrough for her and it is for you too she wanted to go from this vehicle to that one and she wanted to do it now and law of attraction just doesn't help you do that because when you reach for a stick that you're not a vibrational match to all it does is activate where you are instead of where you want to be so something that just feels a little better has to be enough you know why it's all you have access to it has to be enough it has to be enough and it's enough it's enough it's the path of least resistance the path of least resistance is something that either leaves you where you are or feels a little better that's the path of least resistance but when you try to make a bigger jump than you're ready to make then there's a backlash involved in it that keeps you eternally dissatisfied and a striver like you someone with a clear mind like you've got someone who focuses powerfully like you do someone who's practical like you are you keep shooting yourself in the foot helpful yes something else no really good thank you